Say hello to Simon Edvinson, the six foot five, two hundred seven pound smooth skating defender that is yet another in the long line of Detroit Red Wings prospects that will have an impact on the team and its potential future dynasty. We've talked about both Moritz Sider and Lucas Raymond and the Red Wings organization as a whole, and I feel that now it's time to talk about the player they drafted in the first round sixth overall in the 2021 NHL Draft. And with how wide open the 2021 draft was, Edvinson could have gone anywhere from number one to number nine, but he ends up getting taken number six by the Wings, the third defenseman selected behind Owen Power and Luke Hughes. And time will tell, but he could end up being the best of them all, depending on how his development goes and depending on how good Power and Hughes end up becoming. Out of all the players taken in the top 10 of the draft over the summer, many would say Edvinson was the rawest. Meaning, he certainly has a ton of potential to be a superstar at the highest level, but there are many aspects of his game that he needs to work on and polish before he can get to that point. I would certainly consider Edvinson to be a high risk but very high reward type of player, and considering that he was drafted by Steve Eiserman and is going to be developed by the Detroit Red Wings, a team that has been notorious in their history for developing young players, especially players from Europe and overseas, there's nothing to be worried about if you are a Wings fan. The young D-man spent time in his draft year playing for three different teams in Sweden. These teams included the Forlunda Under-20 team, the Vasteris Hockey El Svenskin Club, and then the SHL Forlunda team, where he played 10 games in the 2020-21 season. This year, he went back to Forlunda to continue his development and has had a very nice start to the season, with 12 points in 24 games. This is extremely impressive, especially considering that no other defenseman under the age of 20 has more points or a higher points per game, and Edvinson is still only 18 years old. The other interesting thing is that Edvinson plays on a Forlunda team with other Red Wings prospects Elmer Soderblom and Theodore Niederbach. The Wings' future defender will also be joining Team Sweden for the 2022 World Juniors Tournament very soon, a team that is loaded with top NHL prospects and has a chance to potentially win it all at the tournament. The Swedes are certainly loaded up front with guys like Alexander Holtz, William Eklund, Isaac Rosen, and Fabian Lassell. But the one high-profile defenseman that will have quite a lot of eyes on him will likely be Simon Edvinson. I think the young man will continue to show the hockey world how good he can be at this tournament, and with Owen Power going for Team Canada, and Luke Hughes representing the United States, it should make for some high drama. Edvinson really does have all the tools he needs to be a future star in the National Hockey League. He has elite skating ability and edge work, fantastic hands and puck skills, and of course, has the things that not many do, a big time 6'5 frame, it is super valuable as a defender because you have that extra reach and can make yourself really difficult for opposing forwards to get around. There are obviously some things that the young man has to work on, like his decision making and limiting turnovers, not trying to do too much every time he has the puck, but these are things that are certainly coachable and can be learned over time and through experience. I don't know if I've ever seen a player quite as big and tall, but also so shifty with such elite hands as a defenseman. There is a reason why the Wings drafted this kid so high and why he could have gone even higher. I think it may take another year or two before Edmondson is ready for the NHL, but when the time comes, it will be extremely fun to watch him, especially if he can potentially join Moritz Sider on what could be one of the best future defensive pairings in the league if these two continue to pan out. Edvinson looks like a guy that could put up really stellar offensive numbers in the right situation, and although his defensive game may need some work, it is something that I don't see as a major obstacle if he can continue to work on it over the next few years. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the young defenseman and who in the NHL you might compare Edvinson's game to. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one.